Portugal find themselves amongst the last four teams to have made it through this far and now find themselves on the verge of a date with history. Just one more win, that's all that's needed to make it into the biggest show of the summer, which so many set off all those months, even years ago, in the hope of reaching. No doubt they, along with all the remaining teams, will feel that they have a great chance. Expectation rising at an exponential pace, and expectation, of course, brings with it pressure. It's very easy to feel that pressure, and indeed, the expectation of the fans, just by the expression of those players, if you want things to come together, whether it be through the bounce of the ball or whatever else, it had better come together right here, right now. Well, it is a great view inside Wembley. It gives it that special feeling no matter which match it is hosting. Quite some performance. And now here comes the response. So just this game, and then their date with history. The big day we are all yearning for. This competition has been a superb advert for football, Peter, up to this stage, and it'll continue like that with all the talking points focusing on the positive side of things, I'm happy to say. Credit has to be afforded to the way in which everything was coordinated, despite games being spread across so many different nations, in essence, None of the camaraderie associated with the tournament has been lost. I'm pretty sure that this game will back that up. There's the whistle, and here we go. Tries a shot! Goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. And here's go for it! Goal! Portugal! They are right back in business. And you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Shoots! Hits off target and by quite a way. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Hits one! Goal! Portugal! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward!
That was a given. It always was. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. Diogo Dallo set up one goal so far. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Guerrero. Goes for goal! It's in! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Portugal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. João Moutinho. João Moutinho! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Forward it goes. That's a decent ball. He's one-on-one! -on -one. Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. No second thought, a straight red card. Well, there is concern on the faces of the players standing around him here. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. We'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. I've gave him a decision to make, Peter. Concede the foul or expose his keeper to a one-on-one -on -one encounter. What's Moutinho? Jao Moutinho hits one! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful, loved it. <laughs> Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Portugal are the winners in a one-sided semi-final. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim?